Now, um, that spectre is, in fact, uh, a wrong spectre. Let me say straight away, the Beth Din will not deal with anything to do with criminal law or family law. It will not resolve uh, disputes about divorce or ancillary relief, and it certainly wouldn't do criminal law. That would be to uh, against public policy, and the Beth Din understands that perfectly well and wouldn't wish to do it. Uh, now, in England and Wales, our Muslim communities are large, 5% of the population according to the last census, and growing. And um, I, there are concerns, but in some communities, things may be happening out of sight where parties, particularly women, are being pressured to get involved in religious um, resolution of disputes, which might cross that boundary into family law or even criminal law matters. Now, it's not a million miles from here before we sort of think, oh, Muslims are what they answer. But it's not a million miles from here, is it, that we had other systems of local community law being applied in a criminal or quasi-criminal context, and I'm thinking, of course, of paramilitaries, where they did some pretty awful things, believing they had every right to do them, and the parties, you know, they signed up to it in some express or implied way. That is not, should not be the case. It's not the case in Bethlehem. It should not be the case in Muslim tribunals, uh, and I'm pretty certain that in time uh, it will be made clear within all our ethnic uh, minority communities that that cannot and should not happen. So in the end, what are we left with? I don't think the Bethlehem is revolutionary now. It may have been in its time. It is a valuable system of commercial resolution by judges who are skilled legal minds, and it is not at all unknown, in fact, for people who are not Jewish uh, to take their dispute to the Beth Din in, in London. Um, I, I admire them, <laughs> I admire their courage, <laughs> um, but they sometimes do it because they recognise the wisdom and the abilities of the judges concerned, perhaps because the one of the other parties is Jewish. I think there have been cases even when they haven't been Jewish, but they just wanted to go there because they trusted those judges. I personally know um, most of the judges of the London Baptist, and um, they are people of <coughs> great intellectual ability uh, with an extraordinary knowledge of a sophisticated system of law that is Jewish law. And I, I think that the Bethlehem does render a valuable service to personal and commercial life, particularly for the Jewish community. Uh, and, uh, and I know that is the case in the United States of America, in, uh, in Canada, in Australia, uh, and, and of course um, in Israel. But it, what it does not do and will not do is interfere in personal matters that should properly be the subject of criminal law or family law. Uh, and uh, in the end, a Beth Din is simply another arbitration tribunal. It shouldn't frighten anyone. And I hope I've succeeded in demystifying some of the aspects and in explaining uh, now uh, what a faith-based arbitration uh, is. In my view, uh, the Jewish example is a very good example for immigrants to our shores as to how they can uh, not only integrate, but at the same time preserve their own particular religious values and traditions. And there doesn't have to be any conflict uh, between their life as British citizens and their lives as uh, observant members of their particular faiths. And I hope as a society that we can recognize that harmonization and value it. Thank you very much.